Happy Thursday, almost there. We like to call it Friday Eve, right? As we look live from our rusty Pelican camera right now, it is very calm and quiet. In fact, you can see the reflection of the Miami skyline here over Biscayne Bay and some birds just flying by. We talked about that, right? Early birds waking up with us this morning. And here's a look from our Key West camera, just a few clouds, and it is dry on real-time Doppler radar. However, later on, we will see some more wet weather. This has been the pattern all week long as we have had a pretty soggy start to September, especially the afternoon and evening hours, right? But just make sure you have your umbrellas and pack the ponchos for the kids in their backpacks. I know I did that last night. I always like to prepare everything for the start of the morning for my husband so it's easier as he gets my girls ready for school. And, you know, he always does a great job. So shout out to him. As we look at the winds right now, it's calm and we are going to see the breeze build out of the southeast later on. Here's a look at tropical depression Mindy. That's right. As of yesterday, the disturbance that I was tracking the Gulf strengthened became a tropical storm made landfall across Florida Panhandle and is soaking North Florida as well as Georgia and South Carolina. Mindy is moving to the northeast at 20 miles an hour and going to dump heavy rain here across much of the southeast and the potential for flooding as well. And then it's going to continue to push offshore and away from the U.S. coastline and eventually weaken to an area of low pressure. It could be north of Bermuda. Speaking of Bermuda, already dealing with the outer rain bands of Category 2, Hurricane Larry Max is seen winds of 100 miles an hour the center of Larry's forecast to pass to the east of Bermuda and then move north northwest at 16 miles an hour eventually turn north then northeast become a category one and eventually head into the northern Atlantic could be impacting parts of Europe believe it or not and so it is busy out there tomorrow is the official peak of the hurricane season there is a disturbance off the west coast of Africa that has a medium potential of development and also a disturbance here in the southwestern Gulf of Mexico with a low potential of development and then of course we have Larry and Mindy. Hard to believe we are already down to the M name on that list. And in addition to that, unfortunately for our friends here along the Mid-Atlantic, Northeast, New England areas dealing with some severe storms and the potential for flooding because of this line of active weather that is moving across the area there with folks still recovering from Ida. For us today, hot and steamy, 92 degrees, feeling like the upper 90s and hundreds, those afternoon storms developing. And you can see from the future radar, the morning is looking calm and quiet. Then we get into mid afternoon around pickup time. Dismissal looking soggy and into the evening rush could be quite rainy with the potential for some flooding, not only due to the rain, but due to the king tides that occur through this Saturday. So coastal flooding could be occurring around high tide times between 10 a.m. and noon and again between 11 p.m. and midnight, especially along the low lying areas along the coast. For boaters, no advisories wind southwest 5 to 10 knots, expecting those evening storms once again today, just like the past few days. A shift in our weather pattern tomorrow. The rain chance not as high and for the weekend, mostly morning and early afternoon showers and storms.